I'm Joe Beelan, Tippy Canoe Barbecue Crew. Here for the finals of the Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour. We're uh, having a great day. The weather's finally gotten a little better, and uh, the sun's going to come out. And it's going to be a fabulous day. So we're looking forward to it. Everything's on track. It's about, uh, oh, what is it, a uh, little after 10, I guess, on Saturday morning. So it's a little cool, but we're doing our thing, and, and everything looks great. So we're looking forward to 4 o'clock, that's for sure. Uh, we won the local contest in Woodbury, Minnesota, uh, so we advanced to the regional in Rockford uh, where we uh, got first place chicken, which was enough to uh, get us, uh, I believe we got eighth overall, happiest eighth place finish I'll ever have. So, uh, you know, to get here and, and be amongst these teams here and in this, this field, this crowd, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take the one in 50 shot at a $50,000 paycheck any day. scoring it but in the end I'm gonna have you three get together and just pick a winner okay so we've got six different teams here we're gonna call up our first team here who's, whose dish is this right here y'all you all you guys come on up this is team barbecue superstore.com and where are you guys from Rockford Michigan Rockford Michigan that's Yankee territory right is that okay to say Okay, all right. So what I want you to do first is tell our judges what you've cooked, how you did it, and uh, just some items of interest with your dish. Sure. And, and go ahead and undo it. So what we had is a boneless leg of lamb. What we did is we uh, butterflied it open and uh, put in a nice uh, olive oil, garlic, and parsley paste. And then we smoked it over... Uh, some with some Kingsford and some peach wood and then finished it off by braising it in some uh, good juices and then sliced it here for you and finish it off I'll undo them you take the mic and sort of tell our judges what you prepared and how you did it okay we've got a, uh, a French crown roast of lamb um, we uh, marinated it for a little bit in some olive oil and some herbs and uh, had a mustard slather with uh, a nice little spicy rub uh, grilled it off and uh, used some cherry mojo bricks on it my name is Rob, Rob Bagby everybody calls me Rub I was very fortunate to get the uh, I kind of played some reverse psychology on those guys nobody had the guts to try the turkey turkey in two hours I mean you're kidding me right but I thought back to uh, when I was on Barbecue Pitmasters this year, I did turkey, and they absolutely loved it. So I did it a lot the same way. There we turned it in sauced and unsauced. Um, I've given you both white meat, dark meat, uh, traditional turkey, a little kind of a barbecue turkey twist on it. Really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, so I got to give Russ some applause. I didn't think he was going to get it finished. I really didn't. He didn't have a lot of time to do, deal with that big turkey. So go ahead and let's try this uh, turkey, folks. Okay, so before, yes, I want you to go ahead and, and undo that. So a couple of these teams had a couple of Sam's Club executives cooking and preparing the food with them. And so I want to introduce... Rita Seckington. Rick Sec Seckington. Rita Seckington. Rita's the uh, is it senior vice president? Vice president of, let me get this right, frozen and chilled foods and ice cream. So anything you reach for in the cooler cases is Rita's responsibility. All right. 25 years with the company? You're not old enough to be with the company 25 years. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all introduce yourself and tell us about your dish. You got to tell me what you had you made me cook. Lamb. 
you gotta, I got to tell you what I made you cook? So this is the banjo leg of lamb, right? Banjo shoulder. It's a banjo shoulder. Okay. That's what you cooked. <laughs> I knew it was lamb, but uh, I thought I had to go back to anatomy class and dissect it all. I had to cut it all off the bones, and uh, we trimmed a lot of the fat out of it. And then we used uh, Big Papa Smoker's seasoned salt with pepper on it. And we cooked it on the grill for about eight, ten minutes. And then we made up some uh, butter and some seasoning salt and some uh, little sweetener in there. And uh, all there for you guys to try. It's my honor and privilege to uh, introduce people and thank some people that, that make all of this possible. And I'm going to start with um, three companies that help make tonight's reception possible. I'm going to ask the people from uh, the good people from Tyson to raise their hands over here. I'm going to ask people from Kingsford to do the same thing. I'm not sure they can make it tonight, but Snow, Stone Mill Kitchens, anyone here from Stone Mill? They're actually the fine folks from Research, you know them as Research, so we want to thank them too. I also want to recognize uh, people that don't get enough credit in our industry. They've, they've done more for barbecue than I've ever thought about doing, and that's the master judges of the KCBS. How many master judges do we have, have here tonight? Raise your hand. Let's give them a round of applause. When we, with the great folks at Sam's Club, envisioned this tour three and a half years ago, we didn't quite realize how big it was going to get, how important it was going to be, to the barbecue industry, but we all felt pretty good about it. And we realized that there was going to be a lot of work that had to get done, and we weren't sure who was going to do it, but we figured we could convince some people to do it. Um, and we were very fortunate to find some great people to do that, and I want to recognize some of them right now. First, uh, foremost, uh, Chris Turner, where are you? Chris Turner, thank you very much. There are, there are people who get credit and there are people who earn credit. You're earning it every day. Amen. Um, Mike and Teresa Lake, where are you? <laughs> if I could adopt God parents, it'd be them. I've just now gotten to where I can call them this. You've called them this for a long time. The low gauges. <laughs> <laughs> the lowmans and the gauges, right here in front, raise your hand. I think it's kind of like a maybe a Utah story. It's like a big love family. They just live together and travel together, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> I want to thank a couple of enterprising and hardworking and spirited women um, that have come into our industry at the right time in the beginning and most recently. First, I want to thank uh, Candy Weaver, the president of KCBS. <laughs> Woman. I also want to thank, I keep wanting to call her the princess but she likes Godmother. The Godmother of Barbecue who started it all 20 something, 30, almost 30 years ago. We wouldn't be here without her. She deserves a standing O. Carolyn Wells. <laughs> Last but not least, the guy who makes me look good every now and then. Troy Black. Yeah. In the back. We 
I had a vision a long time ago. Actually, it was mine. He just takes credit for it. <laughs> um, got a couple of stats I want to think, uh, share with you. Um, Bob Fields likes this part of the equation. Sam's Club focuses on numbers. In the first 30 minutes of this year's barbecue tour registrations, we had 516 register for this tournament. That is a 14% increase over last year in the first 30 minutes. Fourteen percent is okay? Okay. Well, how about a 31% increase in judges that did the same thing in 30 minutes? 713 judges signing up for this. Also want to point out um, to you, Bob, and to the rest of the audience, that we have some special people here tonight. Um, I'm going to start with one of the original TV fit masters. He made it this year because he had time in his schedule. He's already done everything else. He's trying to win it this year. Tuffy Stone, where are you? Now, Tuffy, I know you're good. But so is this whole crowd. This is big leagues here. You know that, right? And Myron's not here to help you. Myron's not here to drag him down. That's probably more accurate. One of these days, Myron might get brave enough to come here. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> He's got some double XL ants in his family too. <laughs> but Tuffy, you gotta beat out some stiff competition here if you're gonna win this, you know that. The 2011 champion is here. Tippy Canoe, where are you? <laughs> See, he's probably, while you're here enjoying this, he's probably already back there prepping. The 2012 champion, Lucky's Q, is here. You might be aiming for third. <laughs> We've got a lot more people we're going to bring up and recognize later, but the next person I want to recognize and bring up to the stage is probably doing more for barbecue than anyone because he is our champion at Sam's Club. And his name is Bob Fields. Bob Fields. So are we going to share this mic for just a sec? Absolutely. Oh, you're right there. I'll let you take stage by yourself. You, you know, Mike and I were sitting up here talking a little bit earlier today, and um, we've got a lot of repeats here, right? We have a bunch. Yeah. I, I, I think we've got a group here that's been all three years. Is that right, Mike? We do. We have five. Five teams that have been in the finalists every single year. So how many champion? How many actual competitions would they have had to have won to get here? Nine different competitions. That's right. right? We're so good at math. Yeah. yeah. I'm good at math. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's introduce those. You got the team. Right? I've got the team. Big T's Q. Stand up. Ah. Ah. They're, they're cracking. They're cracking. Uh, how about grills gone wild? The competition's getting tougher. I can tell you. That. I was Smokey D's. And this team's not smoking, they're out doing something that's called Q and it's doing it. Woo! Somebody's here! Yeah. 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 One more. They got bonus points for more, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's it, three in a row, you get bonus points. <laughs> exactly. And 
and last but not least, True Bud Barbecue. Good deal. Thanks, Mike. Um, just a couple of things. I want to really, really thank this group and KCBS and all its membership. You've really been some great followers and been very loyal to Sam's Club. And, you know, Mike, we started this thing about three and a half years ago. And Mike and I were just sitting back and we were just talking about the loyalty that this group has with Sam's Club. And we started thinking, what can we do to return some of that? you know, back to the communities, back to the small business owners, at the same time trying to teach and educate, you know, the rest of our members how to cook and entertain outdoors. And that's actually how this thing started about three and a half years ago. We didn't have a clue that, you know, the one event in Midwest City was going to turn into the largest purse of barbecue competition in the United States. And we give out, you know, roughly about $500,000 uh, in prize money. Is it right on it? We need to raise that a little bit if we can. But um, yeah. last year, I think one team went home with $78,000 when we left here. So I've gotten, we've got a bunch of money to give away tomorrow. Is that okay? Yeah! Couple of things, Mike. Couple of people I would really want to thank. Um, Bill Dietz, stand up. I'm, you know, Mike said, you know, I'm your champion. I'm telling you what, Bill Dietz is a champion. He's the one that puts all this thing together. He puts in all the hours. He's sitting there. He is in love with barbecue, and he's there for you every single day. So, really want to thank Bill. Without Bill, this thing couldn't happen. Let me just tell you. <clears throat> Ashley, Ashley's in charge of all of our marketing. You got to stand up. I'm sorry. <laughs> so all the great marketing activities and everything that's that's put behind, we continue to grow our marketing efforts. She's been in charge of it this year, and appreciate it very, very much. Uh, from a KCBS standpoint, you know, Mike McLeod, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Troy. Always a great tour. I mean, this year it went real smooth. Appreciate your group. Mike, thank you very much. Uh, everything worked out good. And Carolyn, sorry we make you cry, but <laughs> without you, this wouldn't happen. So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then the true sponsors that we have, and just quickly just run through them real quick. Um, Bush is best. Are you in the room? Stand up, please. Thank you very much. Cardio, Kelly, you're here? Where's Cardio? Cattlemen's. Cattlemen's? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Coca Cola, Coke. Hines. You want <laughs> Casey Masterpiece. <laughs> Kingsford. <laughs> National Pork Court. Rob. New Zealand land. General Mills. Tones. Tyson family, thank you, Bill. Thank you all. And uh, I'll end up, with, uh, thank you all so much for today. I know you all had a busy schedule and we had a lot of activities you know, going on. The associates uh, that work for us in Sam's Club and Walmart here in the city really appreciated you all. Uh, I think it was a very, very good turnout. Uh, we had a little bit of fun today, didn't we, with the competition? So 
I left this morning about 4.30 for a flight to Charlotte, North Carolina, and I got back about 5 o'clock this afternoon. And the first thing I asked about was, who won the competition? And I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Salmon won the competition. Is that right? <laughs> Man, that was a good piece of fish, wasn't it? <laughs> and that just came from the club, at Sam's Club. That's our normal stuff. And we just brought it on over. So thanks for the group from Oregon. Uh, Washington, Washington, Oregon, I call it. Washington. Uh, I, I imagine you're the ones that went up there and just rushed up to get that piece of salmon because y'all have fish up there. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you all. We're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. Uh, we've got a bunch of great judges for you. Uh, like Mike said, we have a bunch of the uh, master judges here. Uh, and we're going to have a lot of fun probably about 4 o'clock tomorrow. What do y'all think? Weather's going to be good, I promise. No tornadoes. No rain like last year. We're going to have a lot of fun. So, Mike, can I turn it back over to you? Let's hear it for Sam Club again. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Phil, I was going to recognize you, but he did. I was kind of surprised. <laughs> Great job, Bill. We appreciate your support, too. Um, interesting thing that we've started doing, and it's all really uh, Bob's idea, but is connecting grill grilling with barbecuing. And that's why we've had sponsors um, at a lot of the clubs, a lot of the regionals, especially here tomorrow, that not, don't necessarily sponsor the tour, but they're involved in helping us connect the dots for people who do stuff in the backyard versus what we do professionally uh, on our smokers. So I want to recognize some people real quickly. First of all, um, Michael McDermott from the American Grill Master Experience. <laughs> and he couldn't do what he does if it weren't for the beef checkoff. Anyone here from the beef checkoff? Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> and Hines, another call out to Todd, my friend Todd and Hines. Is Carl Carlson here? I don't think he can make it tonight. Coca-Cola, uh, great, great partners. Uh, the Great American Barbecue Tour, where are Mike and Chris Peters? And Pillsbury, anyone here from Pillsbury? I wanted to poke you. <laughs> uh, Na National Pork Board, anyone here from the National Pork Board? There we go. Thank you. And my uh, folks from Stoke Grills, are you here? Going to be out tomorrow, try them. And Wright Brand Bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Just a few more stats for you, Bob. Our uh, experience, this connecting the dots thing, right, uh, has done a lot of things. We've been keeping count, and I know Ashley, Ashley's keeping count. Uh, her numbers are probably better than our numbers, so she has more people in her staff than we do. But we've had 106,000 people go through our experience, the actual experience on your parking lots this year in 2013. So, 106,000. In the fan zone, 51,000 people went through the fan zone. In sampling, all these partners, all the stuff that Troy does, you know, Troy does about 50 samples a day. <laughs> I mean, 500. <laughs> We've given out 131,162 samples before we even got here. So I think that's pretty cool. And somewhere along the way with all the media stories that have been generated about the Sam's Club Barbecue Tour, there has been more than 189 million media impressions, right? <laughs> so not a bad day in the park. Uh, before I turn it back over to Troy, is he still here? Yes. He's going to tell you that in just a second. And we're, and we're, think, we're thinking, we're, is Chris Cox here? Oh, there he is. Hi, Chris. This guy over here has done a lot of number crunching for us because we rely on volunteer staff people. And he's been a great volunteer. Thank you very much. Uh, but before I turn it back over to Troy, 
Uh, tonight wouldn't be possible either without a lot of hard work, organization, planning, uh, all those things I forget to do. Uh, so I want to thank Shauna Moore. And, uh, and a new member to our team this year, Aaron Stratton. Where are you, Aaron? Outside working? Okay, good. Someone needs to be. Thank you so much. This is an honor and a privilege every year. I love seeing uh, all my friends come together, the champions of all the contests, uh, make it here. You, you're already winners. I don't know who's going to win the big money tomorrow, but you've done well to be here. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. We're very proud of you. So thank you for participating. Thank you, Sam's Club, and all of our sponsors. Troy Black, come on up. Thanks, Mike. All right. Us in this world travel a lot of miles. When I first saw these stats, I thought they were talking about these 50 teams' mileage for the whole year. But no, it's the mileage for just this series. You guys have traveled 154,000 miles collectively. We've had four teams travel over 6,000 miles to compete in this series with one team competing. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively. To objectively and subjectively. Evaluate each barbecue meat. Evaluate each barbecue meat. Barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes. That is presented to my eyes. My nose. My nose. My hands. My hands. And my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty. I accept my duty. To be a third annual Sam's National Tour Judge to be a third annual Sam's National Tour Judge so that truth, so the truth justice, justice, justice excellence in barbecue excellence in barbecue and the American way of life and the American way of life may be strengthened and be preserved forever may be strengthened and preserved forever <laughs> I'm so sick of chicken thighs <laughs> Oh, that's what you call chicken thighs. Chicken thighs? Oh, I'm I used to love them when I was a kid, man. Oh. Look, these aren't your mama's thighs. <laughs> well, thank God for that. Well, let's, let's go somewhere else with this <laughs> conversation. <laughs> They're not cooked the way your mama does. No. My mama's going to cook chicken thighs. Bad fry. Mm. <laughs> hey Randy, when, when did they do all the awards? Here, hold on, just a second. Randy, we'll see if we come back before. The number one here. Uh, appearance on it was really good, looked good, but the, and the tenders run, but the taste on it, it was hot, uh, too much hot sauce or hot flavor on it. The number two, the appearance was great on it, and the taste was just delicious, the sauce was good, uh, and the, the uh, tenders was right. The number three over there, the appearance was, wasn't as good as the others, but uh, and not being comparing, but the uh, skin on it was tough, so it didn't appear to be as good as the other one. Uh, and the number four here, it was uh, had a good flavor to it. The appearance was good on it. Uh, the tender was, was really good on it. So, uh, And the fifth one, the appearance on it was real good, and the taste on it was not as good as some of the rest of them, but the, the uh, tenderness was real good on it. Which was your favorite, the least favorite? Uh, my favorite was, was two. My, my least favorite was three. Okay. Appearance-wise, uh, all the chicken looked, uh, looked great. Uh, number one uh, was juicy, uh, really good taste. Uh, uh, skin pulled away just a little bit. Uh, number two, um, bite through. It was really juicy, really flavorful. Number three, um, pulled away just a little bit, but it was uh, juicy, um, 
flavor was good. Number four, um, good bite through, uh, good flavor. Uh, number uh, five had good flavor. It was really juicy. My favorite was number two uh, and number four. And least favorite was number one. Number one looked good. Um, it was um, a little heavy on the sauce. It was the heaviest of the sauce on the plate. Um, the, it was f fairly dry. Number two was um, one of the better pieces. Um, no special comments on it. Number three was my least favorite. It was actually even cold. So it's as if it had been sitting around for a while. Number four um, was my favorite. Um, nice balance of all the flavors, nice and tender, nice and juicy. Um, everything was my favorite on the group. And then number five um, was tender, it was moist. Um, everything was um, nice, but um, it was the middle of the pack. Number one was uh, over sauced to me and somewhat dry. Number two was my favorite one. I couldn't find anything wrong with it, and I lo loved the taste. Number three was a bit overdone, the, but the skin was uh, somewhat rubbery. Number four was overdone, a little bit dry. And number five was somewhat dry and had a, a flavor that I did not like. Number one is a little bit heavy on the sauce and it had a slight spicy taste to it. Number two, a little heavy, not quite so heavy on the sauce, but had a little hotter and bite, uh, leftover bite to it. Three seemed to be a little juicy, uh, perhaps a little too liquidy and certainly a little chewy. Uh, number four was somewhat, um, it, was, it was okay basically, but it did have a dry ten, uh, tendency to it. And number five was just a little bit under flavored and flat. <music> My favorite one was number four. It had a good bite to it. Uh, it came away from the bone properly, had a great taste. Uh, the one that I didn't care for that much was number three because it was very dry. Okay. My favorite sample was number four. It met the requirements of KCBS uh, for flavor, tenderness, definitely appearance. And my worst sample, or the one I disliked the least, although I did really like it, was um, number five. It was a little bit tough, a little bit dry. And the flavor was a little off balance. I liked number four because of the taste and the tenderness of it. Number five was um, probably a little undercooked maybe or overcooked. It was not really tender, but it had a good taste. An excellent set of ribs. I thought um, my personal preference between number two and number five. Um, number two, um, maybe a little over-smoked, but um, didn't spoil the flavour. I really enjoyed it and great tenderness. Number five, um, lovely rib, great colour um, and a very, very nice bite to it. I'd say probably my least um, favourite, although they were a good set of ribs, was probably number three, a little bit tough um, and took away from um, the, the quality of the rib, but on the whole, good set of ribs. Um, my favourite was... Um it was a toss between number two and number five. Um, I liked the flavor of number five. You can see I eat it off, ate the whole thing of number five. The least one I didn't like is, um, I guess, number um, three. I thought it was it didn't have as much flavor, and it was a little bit on a tough tie, side for me that I thought. That's it. I preferred number five over the others. Number two was an excellent rib also.
head check right there, please. Good. Leave it there for now, yeah, because you're going to leave. Yeah, leave it right there. The, uh, my favorites, there was a, a three-way tie, number one, number three, and number four. They were all uh, uh, excellent. And my, my least favorite, although it was just nil a little bit, was number two, and to me it was uh, on the dry side. Otherwise, it was still very good. It was just a little, it was just a little dry for me. Number four was my favorite, and number one was my least favorite. Um, number four had consistency throughout as far as fla uh, flavor was there, and but number one, to me, it was a little dry and had no flavor. My favorite was number five. It was tender, not mushy, and I, it had a good um, pork flavor. Uh, number one... Um, my piece was very mushy and dry, or uh, I'm sorry, my piece was very mushy and the bigger piece was dry and it really didn't have much of a flavor to it. Number three would be uh, my favorite. It had uh, good flavor, good seasoning, uh, and you could taste the pork in the meat. Uh, least favorite would be number five. The pieces that I selected were all dry and uh, didn't have good flavor to me. My favorite would be uh, number three as well. I thought like the flavor, the seasoning. The pieces I had for uh, number two were on the dry side and number four was uh, I thought was pretty good. I liked the taste of number four. My favorite was number one. It had very good pork flavor, very tender, very tasty, wonderful tenderness. My least favorite was number five. It had, did have good flavor, but it was very, very dry. Yep. 
Everyone has dispersed across the way. All right, number one was, was very good. It had uh, a good texture and a good taste to it. Um, number number two um, was a little bland. Um, num number three, um, uh, hmm, I can't remember what I was gonna say about number three. Um, Uh, this this one this one was was pretty good, um, and this one was a little. I think this is the one that was a little bit dry. So what's your favorite? Uh, my favorite was probably number one. Okay. Hello, Barbecue TV. Good to see everybody out there. All right. Number one. Gave it a triple nine because it looked great. Taste was right on as for brisket. Tenderness was perfect. Came apart perfectly, not mushy, not like a belt, a leather belt. But it was good. It was, I mean, it was great. All right. Uh, number two entry there, 989. Nine. The uh, look, look great. The flavor, a um, little bit bland on the flavor there. I'm sorry. No, that was the one. I'm sorry. That was the one. If you love Dale's. That was the Dale entry. It had an overwhelming Dale flavor to it, and I had to go down a little bit on that. But and the tenderness was perfect. Number three there um, gave that a nine eight nine. Uh, looked great, perfect tenderness, but the flavor just not there for me. Number four gave that a a nine eight nine. Like the other ones, looks great, perfect tenderness. But on this entry, on number four, the flavor was bland. Very, very, just hardly any flavor at all. Just bland meat. And on the last one, number five, the last entry, that definitely was a triple nine. That looked great, tastes great, perfect tenderness. Hello. In appearance on all of them were rated as a nine. The flavor-wise, the only one I could give a nine to was number five, and tenderness all nines except number five, which was marked down to an eight. Mine seemed to be slightly overcooked. Uh, my favorite was number two. Definitely felt the flavor profile was a strong beef flavor, followed up by a nice smoke flavor, and then uh, just a little bit of a pepper and sweet finish. My least favorite was number four, uh, mostly because of the tenderness profile was, was just a touch dry, a touch overcooked. Thanks. Hi, uh, my uh, least favorite was probably one and four. Uh, I just felt like uh, it was overcooked. It kind of crumbled when I picked it up out of the box even. Didn't have much of a spring test. Uh, the flavor wasn't there as I expected. Uh, my most favorable was probably number five. Uh, I've just felt that it uh, had a lot of good bark on it, uh, good flavor, beef flavor. Uh, the burn-in was good. Uh, had a nice spring on it when, uh, when I checked it for uh, tenderness. So, Hello, my favorite was number two. I thought it was cooked almost perfectly. The flavor, 
smoke with beef, which I really enjoy, and the burn end was really pleasant to go with it, so I really enjoyed number two. And I'll just go to my least favorite. For me, that was number four. The tenderness wasn't off that much, but for me, it had an off flavor. I don't know if it was mustard. There was something in there that really distracted from the beef flavor. So for me, that was my least favorite. Big check for $1,000. Tiffy Canoe Barbecue Crew. Ninth place with a check for $1,000. Outlaw Hogs Barbecue Team. Eighth place, Second City Smoke. Seventh place with a check for $2,000. ZBQ. Sixth place with a check for three thousand dollars. Three Eyes Barbecue. Fifth place with a check for four thousand dollars. Moonswiners. Fourth place with a check for $5,000. Lucky's Q. You're, you're out of money? That's all we got? Oh. So the tough. No, we got a trophy, but no more money. Okay. Hey, uh, just kidding. Third place with a check for seven thousand dollars. Pigskin barbecue. You say 25, 25,000? Right over there, guys. $25,000. Our reserve grant. Iowa Smoky D's Barbecue. Our grand champion, $50,000, a score of 702.8344, Killer Bees Barbecue!